I participated in this year's NMU in New York as a part of the delegation of the Swiss uh, Study Foundation. As the name suggests, the NMU in New York takes place actually in New York, but of course this year with the whole coronavirus situation it was held online and our delegation was fortunate enough to be able to go to Bergün in the Swiss Alps um, and we had a wonderful week here. Somehow I ended up on the back of a horse, but um, let's start at the beginning. Gleis 4, Einfahrt des Interregio 13 nach St. Margreten, Landquart, Chur, It's Sunday morning and I'm on my way to the National Model of the United Nations, New York, of this year. And normally uh, I would now take the train to Zurich. But uh, of course, instead, I'm taking the train to Kur. So normally we would now board our plane to New York, but instead we're taking yet another train to Berlin. So let's talk about what NMUN actually is. NMUN is a simulation of the United Nations. We're the Swiss Study Foundation and we're representing Madagascar. I found it a particularly interesting experience to research the position of Madagascar um, towards interesting political pressuring topics. And uh, we're in groups of one or two and there are several committees and we represent various committees from the General Assembly committees to uh, WHO. And we try to tackle uh, relevant matters in international politics and try to find um, solutions to, to, those, to those topics. We have formal sessions where we meet with all the other member states and find the discussion points. And then we also have informal sessions where we can find allies, discuss with them and work on our draft resolution. And what motivates me is to dive into the uh, position of certain countries, to get to know them in depth, uh, to get to know the positions of other nations. I find it a really interesting um, and enriching experience because uh, we are exposed to lots of relevant and interesting topics and we also get to meet new people which are like-minded and have similar interests than we have. And I think this makes it really interesting for us from the Swiss Study Foundation to really know what it is like to be a diplomat and also be in a diplomat's shoes for a couple of days. So in the meantime um, the conference has officially started and we just attended the opening ceremony uh, online and I'm with uh, Noel. Hi there, <laughs> we're just in our uh, first informal session talking with other member states about what we should approach first in our conference. So I think uh, you should stay tuned and we'll keep you updated on what's going on in the UNESCO committee. So we have all just finished our first sessions and as Noel mentioned, we went through agenda setting. So we will start the work on our first topic tomorrow. So it's day two of NMUN. So the conference sessions are scheduled in New York's time zone, which means for us they are in the afternoons and in the evenings. So we have the mornings usually for ourselves and our daily program then starts at noon right before lunch with the briefing and debriefing sessions, which I'm headed right now. Welcome to this briefing. Um, I hope you could enjoy this sunny morning. Because it's virtual and it's online, maybe uh, something that's a bit strange or a bit hard to take is 
that the conversations aren't that natural mm -hmm. because also you can just speak over someone you always have to wait and but as you also pointed out i think the chairs are very kind and want to mm -hmm. want you to speak and give you a second chance if technical mm -hmm. issues occur mm -hmm. keep going like that it's really good <laughs> that was great yeah we were really proud yesterday <laughs> <laughs> right so other than that you can yeah you can just have some more free time till one Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank that you had to pay to, um, for us to be able to be here and we got you just a little something but in the combination with everyone it's a big something so everyone brought a little something from their hometown or town of study and yes we would love to give it to you today and say thank you for all the thank you <laughs> Like, I didn't expect no, that at all, like, <laughs> wow, that's amazing. And we're also thrilled that we could do this. It's like, yeah, we're as happy as you are that we are all here together. So thank you and hopefully we will experience some great few days. we just begun, so. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very, very much. Yeah. We just had a small Zoom meeting with the director of the Swiss Study Foundation who wanted to know how we're doing here and um, wanted to wish us luck for the upcoming uh, discussions. And for this afternoon I'm going to hand over my camera to another committee so that they can show you what they are up to. It includes addressing the lack of storage options and also calls for access to financial markets on fair terms. The Republic of Madagascar invites the other member states to join us in the discussion on how smallholder farmers can be made market ready. Thank you very much. As a delegate for the Republic of Madagascar in the World Food Programme, I just held a speech on the important topic of smallholder agriculture in our committee. With these speeches we can outline the position we have and identify potential for common ground with other delegations. The delegate Luxembourg would like to highlight the importance of education and solving food inequity. Other members the other hand side, our working paper underlines the great importance of job security in developed countries. Fellow delegates, it is time to make concessions. Little steps are better than no steps. We invite to look at our working paper and are open for other working papers. Thank you. Hello, here is Jonas and Rahel. We are the delegates from Madagascar in the Commission on Population and Development. At the moment, we are addressing the third topic, which is about food security, nutrition and sustainable development. So the topic of food security is of special importance for the Republic of Madagascar so we both are trying to fight in order to close the gap between developing and developed countries and that is what we are looking for in our discussions. It's the third day of NMUN 
and it's already time for a debriefing session. We're doing those split into two groups. Behind me you see the first group uh, right there. It's part of our Corona safety concept. And also afterwards at lunch we're split into bubbles of two to four people according to our committees. And on top we did a, all a test um, before coming to Bergün. I used the time that we had after lunch before the start of the first session to work on my speech that I will most probably give in the first half an hour um, of the upcoming session. So you need to know that you can never be quite sure when your speech is coming up because you don't know how many informal sessions are there and you only see how many delegates are before you on the speakers list. So since I have now the second place on the speakers list, I can be quite confident for once that I will be speaking right away at the start. And like yesterday, I will give my camera to delegates of other committees so that they can also show you their work. Hi, fellow delegate. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. I'm Maren. I'm Marco. We're representing the Republic of Madagascar at Model United Nations in New York. We are working in General Assembly 2, and at the moment we are discussing the topic of financing for development. A crucial topic for the Republic of Madagascar, especially in the current pandemic. So right now this is one of our informal sessions, and we're actually waiting for some feedback from the dais, both of us, as we're in different working paper groups as well but we use the time either to improve our paper, paper already or to finally socialize a bit with the other delegates. Yes! Not bad! Boom! Man! Cette fin de vidéo, <rire> prank, ça tourne mal. On lui donne une caméra, on lui donne une caméra et c'est fini quoi. We the GA3 delegation are now on day three, and we are working mostly on our second draft of the working paper. We just received feedback from the chair and are now trying to integrate it and correct um, our working paper. And it is quite a nitpicking work because each word has its importance and one word can also make the difference if the chair is gonna accept it or not or if we should just leave the, the clause out of but we're continuing and still motivated, but it's getting late. <laughs> this is the challenge of, of doing NMUN um, when one is not uh, in New York. Because, for example, if you if you have a look at the, sorry, if you have a look at the eighth clause, it is kind of I think that's kind of the structure that we should be aiming for, and then we could ask what should be done specifically. So, we're here in the most important room of all the United Nations. As you can see, it doesn't look anything fancy, but this is where the decisions are made. And one of the people who has the important task of making those decisions is Sophie. How are you, Sophie? Hi, I'm fine. I'm looking forward to today's discussions. It's the last day of sessions, so it will be a highlight again and we'll change the topic of what we speak. So um, that's something to look forward to. And I'm equipped with coffee, water, earphones, my computer and Swiss chocolate. So I think everything is ready to ramble. Axel, how are delegates? communicating in this time of being online? Well, the delegates are using the platform Gathering, which I'm currently on. And as you can see, the delegates are all here. The cameras are turned off for internet purposes. And some of them are talking. We are very grateful to have the delegates of India being our moderator. 
And then if you want to have more private conversations, um, we can just here use the chat. This is my conversation with France, who's been a great ally of ours. And yeah, it, it's actually working pretty well in a small committee. I think it can be a bit more tricky in other committees where there are like hundreds of delegates. We're only at 20, uh, around 20 here, so it's pretty easy to communicate. Well, I think the session went well. Um, we had the opportunity to resolve all the differences that we still had about our working paper. Now our draft resolution is ready to be approved and we hope that we can do it by acclamation. And so that would be a source of great satisfaction for us all in the delegation of Norway. And we hope that it will happen just after a delicious dinner. So Axel, do you feel like a very important person if when you are in this room? I feel like a very important person even if I'm not in this room. <laughs> Madagascar, we are about to start the final session of this conference, which means are, that we are hopefully going to finalize our working paper to make the draft resolution, which we then, as a whole committee, can vote on whether we want to adopt this resolution. Noel is just preparing his final speech, and... I'm just a little bit stressed now because there are only a few countries ahead of me, and I'm still not quite done with my speech, so... He's, he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine. <laughs> well, I think it seems like there yeah, is this by the committee or of the some states. Mm -hmm. Resolution passed. Meeting adjourned and now awaiting the closing ceremony. It's the morning after, and I have great news. Sophie and Axel won an award for their precision paper, which is an outstanding accomplishment. I couldn't find them yesterday after the closing ceremony, but I will make sure to catch them later. Also, we have some excellent program planned for today. The great thing about the events of the Swiss Study Foundation is that there are so many people bringing something that they are passionate about to, to the group. Made some random guy pointing his camera to your face, or also more sensible approaches like a group yoga session or a piano concert. Um, first, I'm playing a piece by the composer of, uh, Pierre Hulles. Um, this is a piece called Assis and was written in 2001, so it's very rare that you get to hear pieces that are written in the 21st century. Um, and then, to soothe your ears after the contemporary music piece, I'm playing uh, one of the most important pieces of the romantic piano repertoire, and this is Piano Sonata, and this will go for about...
Next up is horse riding. And I've never sat on a horse before, so I'm <laughs> a bit nervous, but um, also really excited. Am I right with my assumption that you thought that Enemyen is just not challenging enough for us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, um, a different challenge. Yeah, a different challenge. <laughs> like, yeah, very versatile week, so. <laughs> You want to explain your look yes. today? Well, you see, uh, brand new model, <laughs> new collection, summer collection, <laughs> grill helm, <laughs> larger <laughs> size because of my huge brain. Oh, uh, I see. Yes. How are you feeling? I am feeling excited. Yes, a bit nervous. <laughs> So I want to know which kind of character do you want for your horse? I'm hoping for a very gentle and calm one. <laughs> I'm hoping for a really fast one. <laughs> and to try to break some records here. Okay. <laughs> what about you? I'm also more in the team of swell. I like a quiet and nice one. <laughs> Oh wow, we're just trying to make a group picture and we're all still on our horses, surprisingly. <laughs> How was it, Jonas? It was great, great experience. Uh, I don't feel my legs anymore, but that's completely fine, I guess. Was it better than your expectations? <laughs> I mean, I didn't really know what to expect and I didn't fell from the horse, so... Kind of yes. <laughs> Thank you very much to our head delegate for organizing oh, this horse riding. It was amazing, <laughs> and I also I'm also glad that um, it that we could do that. And it's like no, we can't take that for granted. And even like the weather is as beautiful as it could be. So I'm really happy, and I also had lots loads of fun <laughs> with all of you and with the horses too. <laughs>They announced that we had it. Yes. <laughs> and so it, it was kind of a funny surprise. All right, that's it. I hope you got an insight of how it was for us to participate in this very special edition of the NMUN New York. And I want to especially thank everyone who participated in this video with great effort. Um, it was great fun for me to making it. So thank you, delegates. <laughs> One thing that I almost forgot, our delegation got another award. It was an award for the whole delegation, so we were listed under the Distinguished Delegations, which is um, pretty awesome.